Too much sports on tears. Too much antagonist. Wolves and leopards are trying to kill the sheep and the shepherd. Yes. Wolves and leopards are trying to kill the sheep and the shepherd. Yes. Too much informers. Too much nearly rise. <clears throat> okay, so thanks for tuning in. This is Rise Liberty with another variety talk. Let's go ahead and get it going. So, we want to talk about this thing called colorism in the world. <clears throat> Not just in America, but in the world. Okay. So, um, just to get you some key points of where I'm coming from. African people around the world need to understand their history. Okay. Um, instead of his story, okay, and what I mean by that is about self-knowledge. I believe that we need to get in tune, the better way to get in tune with yourself is learning about yourself, and the best way to learn about yourself is self-knowledge, because school systems, some colleges, you know, uh, they will, you, if you uh, participate in those particular classes, um, but you're not going to know you or know your history unless you do your own research on your history. You know what I'm saying? Self-knowledge. Okay. Um, not saying you shouldn't learn about just anything, you know what I'm saying? But you want to learn about self first, you know? And you want to learn every, everybody's history. I mean, you want to learn Asian history. You want to learn Spanish history, you know? European history. You want to learn history, you know, so, and, and it's good to read and learn, uh, anyway, so, um, first of all, you have to understand that the African Holocaust was real, see, a lot of people think that there wasn't no such thing as an African Holocaust, because the word itself isn't in the equation of a Holocaust, or African Holocaust, okay, um, Pretty much saying like how you had the uh, the Jewish Holocaust uh, around the time when uh, Hitler was doing his thing uh, against the Jews and stuff like that. Um, and they called that a Holocaust, but you actually saw and seen, or you didn't see. Um, you know, you looked it up, or you read it, or whatever the case, and you actually seen it. The fact that. It actually showed you actually, you know, pictures and glimpses and probably home movies or whatever on actually what would happen back then. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the African Holocaust. You know, situations and things had occurred, you know. But a lot of people don't call it African Holocaust, which I don't understand why, because it's pretty much the same thing. Just like the Jewish Holocaust, okay? So it's the African Holocaust. Um, so you have to, you know, truly understand that. Uh, you know, that, I mean, that the Holocaust was real. And the pain and trauma and damage that it caused. You know, a lot of people think the fact that, well, you know what happened to your ancestors. <clears throat> so why should it phase you? Because, for one, we might not be... It might not have been like it was back then but it's still going on to this day. And some of y'all ain't gonna know what I'm talking about, but some people do know what I'm talking about. So of course it's gonna hit home to certain individuals or certain people on that ethnic spectrum because it's still a, a product of what, it's still an off-branch or a product that's, that happened back then that still happened today. Yeah, you had some changes, 
but it really, really hasn't really been a major change. Okay. And like I said before, you know, some aren't going to understand, some will. Um, let's see. All right. Okay. So, and three, in some, um, in some places, dark-skinned people struggle with their skin color because of adversity. Looking back into history and where the history stands today, it starts consciously that we to teach each other that we are the original man, etc. Okay, and an original woman. This can only be done by knowing your history. Once again, knowing your history because school is only going to give you a watered down version. You know, they're only going to give you so much information. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was uh, inside the American system, uh, school system, um, you know, for one, I, we, we didn't start learning really about black like, history until like later. Like we uh, like actually learned about it. Like when you're in elementary, I mean, you're probably doing like, they're, they do classes like telling you about one or two people or they're telling you um, to draw a picture or something for your mom or whatever the case, kind of like treating it like it's a holiday or something. Um, now when you start getting up, like I would say, in the middle school era, that's when you kind of like start learning about what black history is. And then when you learn about it, you don't really learn about one or two, three, probably. I mean, you don't really learn too much about, and then you learn about the same people. You know, all the time I heard about Martin Luther King Jr. I will say I heard about, okay, uh, well, I didn't hear about Malcolm X until later, actually. Um, Booker T. Washington, Webb the Bowes. Uh, Frederick Douglass, you know, Harriet Tubman. But other than that, this, if that, you know, I probably even gave it extra, but mostly Martin Luther King Jr. I mean, really, it's crazy. But yeah, so, you know, self knowledge. Um, and, and that's the reason why I believe self knowledge needs to be pushed. Because. And that push like you forcing somebody to learn about them or just people in general knowing about just knowledge itself. Um, it's just it needs to be it, be it needs to be known. You know what I'm saying? The truth is out there and it's like a lot of people are scared of the truth, so they don't wanna like I don't know, they don't wanna do their own research or find out what's going on. Or just knowing, you know, or they're just like, you know what, I gotta live my life, I really don't care. You know, it, it doesn't affect me, but in reality, everything affects people in, in some form or fashion, believe it or not. It does, you know, whether it's small or it's worldwide, you know, on a scheme like that. So, but, um, I just want to touch bases on this colorism thing. I probably put add some more information too about it, but that's just to scratch the surface. So, let me know what y'all think on that. Um, and, you know, if y'all have y'all, uh, if you guys have input on it or what do you think, you know, uh, on a scale. You know, I mean, even if you got any situations where you've seen certain situations and how would you go about it, you know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, we're going to get deep into it. But knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, overstanding. Positive energy always creates elevation, which stands for peace, freedom, justice, equality, love, live, and light. Bless up.